Today I'll be giving a demonstration on how I time at the Malla. Although, and as well, I learned it from other YouTube videos in which this is going to turn out to be another one. Um, it took me quite some time, about two or three months, to just get get a hang of it. You can, If you don't get it right, you can ask somebody to help you. But if you do it yourself, Guru Sahib will hold your hand and help you tie it on your own. It, it also, the Tamala also needs daily commitment. You must be able to at least spare some time to yourself, stand in front of the mirror, have the pieces of cloth and start practicing. You can even invent your own style, but it, you can, it just needs commitment and patience. There are three layers. In the you know, Tamalna, there's the first layer that's to just hold your jura at the center. The second one is to just create the basic shape, and the third one is the last and final layer. So first, you gotta comb your hair to it's the, the hair is not like coming out this way. If you need, if you need, you can add water or oil. Just to. Hold it still. So the first um, cloth is this one. I tend to like blue more, but you, color doesn't really matter. So you uh, want to put the cloth behind your head, okay, and slowly hold your hair from the root here, and slowly start twisting. Make sure you cover all of the hair. If it's not, then you just slightly cover it that way, so it's completely covered, and then bring the hair up usually the judo we tie a knot but this one you just uh, roll it around as it's the cloth will hold the hair okay. right. and slowly start tucking in a bit in front and the remaining cloth this one from the back bring it forward this way and if you want to you can twist this one but I don't really do that pull it a bit and tuck it in this way and your first step is done next your kanga will should be positioned here because if it's at the back you will tend to see it and you just slightly cover it here to hold it in here is um, a longer cloth and it's also wider usually it's normally one a bug but the first one and the, and the third one are normally half This one, you'll start off with a little length from here, like hold, and you'll. So you want to take it up, so you get the hair from down, up, and above your ear, and slowly start tying that. Hold this from here and tuck it to the back, and just move this around. This one, you don't really matter about neatness. This one, you just need shape. You kind of, kind of get like a, a, a dome. And I, I normally do that here, where you hold it like this. And normally, because when we fold the rectangle piece, it's usually this. This part, I open it, and 
just above like that. And then from there, we'll tuck in the rest into there. And that's basically all we need, but now you can see there's a gap. This is this we need to fill in. Now we'll be done with the rest of the cloth. This one is just wrapping around like that. And having it just cover the head a bit more. And then the remaining piece tuck into the top. Once you're done, get your cultimeter in this leg and just lightly tuck in the hair from the back and the front. And finally, the actual tamalla. This one is way longer than the, uh, the white one in the first one. So we start from here, like the way we started the first one, um, hold it from here, this this distance is a bit shorter, pull, just pull it a bit so you tighten the, don't pull too much though, and then this one, same technique, bring it up from the back, and this time you're covering your ears, you're going to pull the, that loose cloth, Slightly bring and make like an X from up here. There's no issue if, and then this this cloth here, you just tuck it in, in into the white one. There's no issue if this cloth is being seen. That's all right. You slowly bring this one above this one, and then after that, this this cloth will. Open it here this way, and the same thing I did with the white one, then you just cover entirely. This one must be neater, like this one, we need to care about neatness and um, shape. Then, after that, the remaining loose cloths just tuck it in from there, and then bring this, close this from here. Now from there, you want to make it thinner, so like this. And from the center of the head here, and bring it down. So like that. So you bring it down, it edges here. And straight to cover the white and back up. And then from here, you make it smaller to even out with this one. With my cloth, I do two rounds down and three rounds up. So that's one, then here's the second one. The second, the second one I do slightly above the first one to cover up more area. So the first two are done. Now the rest of the three, now this one, after you're done with the second one, you bring it down towards the bottom of your ear, then hold, pinch here, and move it upwards, like that. And then you make a nice arc here, that way. For every, um, every lark, make sure you hold it here before you open this up as it might loosen up and then pull from here and the second one up like that and then do the third one if if you can make it go a little higher than where you're going to tuck it from here then from there, you pull this one and tuck it. Tucking might not be so neat, 
but you can try making like adjust it a bit. So I'm gonna tuck it here, but I'm gonna raise some cloth so that when I bring it down, it's tightened. For this, you need just inspiration, something to inspire you. I hope this does. You nicely tuck it in there, and then even if even if your cloth just reaches here, tucking in. I would recommend tucking in everywhere so it looks nice and even. And sometimes you might need to adjust here because this sometimes is further inwards and this is further outwards. And you do that. Then once again, get your slide and tuck in the hair. you're ready for battle <laughs> and that's how you will tie the tamalla although you after some practice once in a while twice or thrice a day it will come out very nice Now I'll give you a 360 view of the tamalla, although it's not the best um, because it's a tutorial, but I hope you try it on your own, it will be better than mine. I wish you good luck on that. So here, the front normally is like this, left. What I tried to make is an arc here, the triangle, from, from this last letter and the first letter this one and this one. The back sometimes might not be very tidy because you really can't see the back. But where we mostly go fold is here when tucking in the back. And usually this can be covered with your chakar or um, a kanya. And from here, same pattern this way and back to the front. The top, sometimes it drew all, or um, sometimes this dome effect sometimes will tend to be too much behind, too much in front, and you will see a curve here, which is fine, which is all right. So, yeah. Bye, Kuchikha Khalsa. Bye, Kuchikha Fatih.